Good morning, YouTube. It's, uh, yeah, still don't know where this clock is. It's 4 something on this Tuesday morning. Beautiful Tuesday. I think it's raining, actually, but it's so dark. It doesn't really matter. Um, let's see here. Uh, and it's way too early for orbiting and landing on comets. That's our topic today. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Rosetta mission. Um, we, uh, we, we've been working on this one for quite a while. Um, I guess we launched the thing about 10, 12 years ago, which means that they probably started 10 years before that. So we've probably been working on this for about 20 years. Um, anyway, so we launched the thing 10 years ago. It's, it's done, it's gone around the sun several times. Uh, it's picked up a couple gravitational assists from from the Earth, and when you do a gravitational assist, that means that you 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 orbit the Sun, but then you get close to a planet, and the planet sort of slingshots you um, your your object or your satellite or your spacecraft, as this would be. Uh. So, the Earth has has slung shot us three times, not us, the spacecraft, the Rosetta spacecraft, three times, and Mars did it once. And then, uh, and then in 2008, so it, it, it's gone around the sun several times. Gravity assist by Earth three times, by Mars once, um, and then it it uh, got got thrown into wide solar orbit outside of Mars orbit. You know, there's a video that that shows the trajectory of the of the spacecraft, and I'll link that video because it's really cool to watch actually, and it it, it shows you. Uh, when it was launched, the data was launched, it shows you the path around the sun and each time it gets a gravitational assist and the date in which they got that assist. Um, and then, uh, so after the final assist, it, it, it starts heading towards Jupiter because the, the, the object that the spacecraft is chasing is a comet and the comet's path uh, goes around the sun uh, from from close to our orbits all the way out to Jupiter's orbit and back again. So Rosetta got slung out to Jupiter orbit um, inside of the comet's orbit. It's a comet that we were after um, and started chasing it back in. Now in 2008 we actually shut the, the spacecraft off spacecraft off because it had to hibernate because um, either it was too cold out there and we couldn't do anything anyway or it was too far away and so we were conserving energy I get fuzzy on the details as to why we actually turned it off but they turned it off in 2008 2008 but thereabouts and then they turned it back on again earlier this year. So that's like a three, four year hibernation. And it worked beautifully. Um, they, the, the telemetry was right. They were, they were right on path. Um, and they actually intercepted the, the comet earlier this year. So between January and now, they've been orbiting the comet and taking scans of the entire uh, surface. I'm sure you've heard this in the news. I, I'll link a couple news articles as well. Uh, the exciting part here is that the uh, the spacecraft that's orbiting the the the, the comet. Well, so there, there's a bunch of excitement in this, right? First time we've orbited a comet. Uh, first, a lot of firsts for this for this mission. Um, 
but it has a, a lander that's going to detach from the orbiter and land on the comet. Um, and it's got a bunch of instruments that will take samples and take readings of what's on the comet and whatnot. And and so as as this thing, as the comet comes closer to the sun, again with the comet it's got a bunch of rock and ice and um, comets are the ones with the tails and the sun pushes out the material from the comet so as the comet approaches the sun the tail shoots away as it slingshots around the sun and it starts going away from the sun the tail shoots in front of it which is kind of funny um, but the tail is always opposite of where the sun is so as it does that the the orbiter uh, can can sort of analyze the tail and, and see uh, what kind of science is going on there. So really exciting. Um, the lander is supposed to land next month, I think is what the schedule said. So that's an exciting time. And then, for some reason, the once they do all that and once the comet passes by the sun again, they say the mission's over because there's no more to... But, no more to study, but there, there's tons to study. I mean, you know, if nothing else, you got to keep that orbiter in orbit. Because um, then, what what I so what I was imagining before I did some research on the topic, I was imagining, you know, we always talk about how um, it's so it's so difficult to get to the outer reaches of of our solar system. Um, always takes years and years and years. I mean, this mission took 10 years, but that was because it went around the sun several times with, for gravitational assist. Uh, but it always takes years to get to Jupiter, Saturn, and all those others, Neptune, Uranus. Um, well, I think we, we need to use the comets as a delivery system. And so let's, let's put a spacecraft in orbit around the comet. The comet will drag our our satellite or our spacecraft as it's orbiting it to work, you know, along the entire path of the comet. It seems to me like that's, you know, easy energy, easy, easy transportation. Um, so I think that's what they should, I, you know, I think that's after they say their mission is all done, which I'm sure, you know, maybe they think that they've studied the comet enough, see if they can piggyback off this comet go around so again this comet gets close to Jupiter orbit and back again so it's sort of a it's it's a it's an inside comet as I call it um, I mean they say the inside the solar system is really Mars and and closer uh, but in anything inside Jupiter is still kinda inside um, but we know a bunch of other comets that go outside Jupiter orbit that go way beyond Let's let's put something in orbit around that. See see if see if it keeps all the way around its you know its solar orbit and see if it comes back again. I think that'd be kind of fun because then hey, if you could do that. So the thing about that is uh, you know with the debris coming off of the comet, the tail and and everything like that, you may get a lot of substantial damage to the spacecraft. So it's who knows if it's safe or whatever, but hey, you know, if you think your mission's over, maybe extend the mission, see see if it can happen. Rosetta, uh, and I forget the lander's name. So, exciting times the next month or so. Already a bunch of excitement in the last few months or so. Uh, a lot of firsts with the spacecraft, which is always fun to hear about, you know. Oh, and this wasn't NASA, this was a uh, European, European Space Agency did this. Uh, I'm sure they got assistance from others, but they're the main cats on this on this project. So, uh, fun times. Okay, it's way too early for uh, orbiting and landing on comets. Um, I have to go get ready for work. You got to go do whatever it is you do. Talk to you tomorrow.